Wow, this is Terrence Gangster Williams, a.k.a. OG Giggity, a.k.a. Mr. Asher, right back, a.k.a. the People's Channel, Terrence Civilian Williams. You just witnessed the domino effect. Real life. Real life street star. We're in the building, baby. This, domino time. This is called the domino effect. Okay. And we're here with the most gangsters nigga alive. Wow. Terrence Gangster Williams. Okay. Man, Terrence... I brought you in here today because I wanted to ask you questions about your life. Okay. And I wanted to whip your ass in dominoes. Okay, let's break it. Let's get it. Okay. okay. But so for the viewers, we have Megan Oliver. She will be the washer. She is my Vanna White. And she's gonna wash the dominoes. Okay, Terrence. Are you are you good at dominoes or? We have to see. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> All right. Because right. oh. I, I used to play dominoes, right? Yeah. Um, you know, we had a thing. I played for bread and meat. I don't win. I don't eat. So um, let's just bring it. Let's get it. Let's see. Okay. So um, you can choose seven dominoes. That's how we're gonna play. Okay. And okay, so it's ten to get in. Right. Right. Okay. And um, we're gonna go to one fifty first, but we're gonna dive into your past. All right. Okay, that's a good way to try to... All right, so grab your dominoes. Well, I thought the lady was going to get my dominoes. She said no, she... No, 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 no. You have to pick your own dominoes. She told she's me. Just, she's, just, she's just going to wash them. I can do it. Okay. 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 You said sometimes, like, I got big six. Sometimes. Yep. What you, like, what, what makes you get the urge? So. Um, I sometimes sit back and I just be looking at a lot of people um, who's on social media um, doing a lot of things that they shouldn't. And I just be like, hold, hold on before you touch that. Okay. Because you know, <laughs> you know about the triplets, right? Marlene, Pauline, Darlene? No. With that spin right there. Okay. Uh -huh. 15. 15. Yes. Um, so I just look at sometimes a lot of these guys, I I just be like, I know scary, fake, um, be playing for the internet. So sometimes I do um I do think about that. Oh, bro, don't concentrate on whooping me. You concentrate on question. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Well say no more then. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, you so hold on. So, did you finish what you were saying? <laughs> yes, I did. Sir. Okay, <laughs> I most certainly did finish. How did you choose your victims? I never choose them. Um, I was in a game in the street, so if it's a hit, then I got to follow out, you know, I get my money half, and then I'm going to take the hit, but. Let me tell you what's crazy. A lot of the beef I had was always one of my homeboys or somebody out the Magnolia Project. Like, I think only one time beef I had was because of me. I'm like, I could be in prison fighting a murder case. As soon as I come home, it's already beef with these people. So now I'm in it. Right. Ten. I'm in. Okay. Got him in, y'all. I brought you in this world. I must take him out. Now, uh, Five, huh? Seven, eight, nine. I can't get done with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I get nine? No. No, no, no. You can't. <laughs> What's the most evil shit you've ever seen? Um, when a guy cut a person up. Back then, they had the Polaroid pictures. After they took the pictures, um, they had a female to bring it to his grandmother at church. Yeah. Okay. Okay, looks like you got me. Well, well, that's what I like to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go get all of them out the yard. Uh -uh. Well, looks like you got me. Oh, shit. I'm gonna get it out of my hand. Mm -hmm. 
But you're not going to go to work? Yes, I would. Uh, you know what I like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you like. <laughs> Uh, I already know where you're going. Nah, you don't know what I'm doing. You don't know what I'm doing, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Let's put it right here. It'll be all right. <laughs> you for you, gangster? No, I'm okay. Thank you very much. No drink at all? Not at all. Not right now. Why? Oh. Um, right Why not? Because it's Ramadan right now. Ramadan? Yes. Fast. Okay. Would you like to break that down for the viewers? Domino. Man. With five. With five? Yep. What do you get over there? Get ten. What's that? Eight. That's it. Get ten. Yeah, you yeah, got me. Yeah. You said that's not. I heard you say. <laughs> um, yeah, so explain yeah, it's Ramadan, that. So I can't. Um, during Ramadan, once we get up, uh -huh. we get up before prayer. Um, you drink, eat, whatever you're going to eat. Uh -huh. And once you pray, the fast starts. So which means once the fast starts, um, no, you can't drink water, tea, um, you can't eat food, um, you can't have sexual relations, right. none of that during Ramadan. Is that hard for you? No, I've been doing it for 20 years. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, you know. When you, when you caught, a, caught, a, caught someone down bad, right? Mm -hmm. the, did anybody ever beg for their life? Yeah, I had a few be like, man, come on, man, don't kill me, man. My bad, I got you. Yeah. And would you let them live or? No, because when you have somebody big like that, you embarrass. So um, I've always, I've learned from my old head, it's like, if you put a gun on someone and you don't use it, so now you're the target. Right. So now if you pull, if I put a gun on someone, they beg me, it's like, he knew I had it over his head. So... You know, his next move me, I gotta get him out of the way because he might use that against me later on, might tell someone I beg for my life or what have you. Did they like ever like use the bathroom on themselves or anything when it came to that time? Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that a few times. Yeah. Person urinate. Yeah. Do they what do they what do they say? Do they say please God? Or do they or you know, or are you like the God at the time? Well no, I've never um Looked at myself as being wrong. Um, but I've had guys who, oh, please, oh, Jesus, you know, that's the famous word everybody scream, um, you know, when they're in trouble. Right. They're screaming, God, Jesus, please help me. But these are killers. So I'd be like, man, I know you just killed such and such. I know for a fact, because I've been around or seen certain killers kill people in um, 10. And kill people, and now they're begging. Like, my thing always been if someone ever caught me down bad, like, I've been hit up a few times. Right. But mine was never begging. Mine was, I need to make it out of this situation so I can retaliate um, and, and get me some get back. Right. Yeah, I know you're not gonna like this, Terrence. 20. <laughs> I figured you was coming with uh, that. Okay. I figured you was coming <laughs> with the 20. <laughs> so 20 and 15. Oh, yeah. You feel like you were a victim of your environment? You know what? I, oh, when I was in prison, I used to always tell people, um, I didn't like when people would say that, that, I was, that you're a victim of your environment. I always say that the environment is a product of me. Right. Because, and the reason why I say that, because I am the one that set the tone for the environment. That's why I always just say that. Because if you move in the neighborhood, it's, say they just developing this new community. They just started this new community. Uh -huh. And, uh, nothing. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they just started this new community, right? Right. So now there is no drug selling here. There's no robberies, no murders, nothing. But when the people start moving in, um, now you have the mayhem or whatever they you know, decide to make it. So I always say their environment is a product of me. Right. I mean, I could be wrong. But... Yeah, good. This is your perspective. Right? Yes, sir. <laughs> um, 
if you could bring back any of your victims, would you? And if so, who? That's a good question. None of them. I always tell people, um, I don't regret nothing I've done in life because I've never killed an innocent person. Um, I've never raped a woman or a child. I've never killed any children. So for me to bring back a victim, that means he gonna get some get back. <laughs> so I always, <laughs> and I always tell people, bro, I'm scared to die first. Right. Because um, nobody's not gonna retaliate like I will. Yeah. So no. There, there wasn't nobody that was like, man, this nigga, this is cool. This nigga's cool, man. I I just gotta do him though. Well, here's the thing. All the people I like, it's, it was guys that I would rob. Yeah. And how you just say, man, he cool. So I would um, I would spare them because I would be like, here's the thing. What he gonna do? Either he's gonna send a hit at me, or we gonna go to war. That's cool. Right. So I would let him live because I was like, okay, he's soft already. So if I need to hit another lick, I come back and rob him again. Oh. So it was people that I did spare. I didn't kill everybody that I robbed or what have you. Yeah, we're two different people now. Like, how do you think, um, if you had met me back in the day, what type of nigga do I come off? Money go getter, um, somebody that low, uh, low tyrant for the bull. That if I disrespect you, you gonna put some money on my head. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. No, for real, that's the demeanor you give. Yeah, you really get that like boss. Like, okay, you wanna play? See, here's the thing. You got this this way, and that's what I pay attention to: the cool, quiet, laid back ones. Right. Cause it, it speaks volumes. Like the ones that I be like, okay, he faking who all the rah rah. Ah, you ain't got a point to prove. Right. But that's what you give me, like money. Like, okay, you want to play? Look, I need you to touch him. <laughs> that's what you give me. I real. think that we would have got along in the game. I really do. <laughs> I had a partner that was just like you, bro. He's 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 uh, no longer here anymore. What about the streets that you love? Like, what is it that you loved about the streets? Oh man, the the, the fame. Um, like when I spin a block, like it, it was a rush. Uh, 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 it was it was like a beautiful thing. Like I would go in somebody's neighborhood. Like say if I go in the Saint Bernard, you would have the girls screaming and hollering. Um, like I should literally do this. Like I had this. I had a um, when I got my blue Mercedes Benz. I um I would go in the Saint Bernard project, right? Like right. like if I go back there in my white Camaro and I would see the girls on the corner, like they would look, but they wouldn't really speak. But if I go back there in my in my bins, now I got my windows up and I'm looking straight ahead because you wouldn't speak to me when I'm in my uh uh in the in the dunk off. <laughs> yeah, now you want to this the spinner right here? Oh uh, yeah. Well, no, what's the spinner? I think it was the three. Are we asking? Because I thought we weren't supposed to ask. Um, oh, but, yeah. oh, yeah, we are supposed to ask. My no, bad. no, yeah. we got to ask. I, I got to ask you. But, okay, but um, no, I mean, we, we just going to go right there with the, the, with the team. Then. Okay. Make it happen right there. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, where were we looking for? One for one draw. Oh. Yeah, but see, like, you know, when you young, you like Domino. Fine. No, that was, that was on oh. me. Oh, that was on me, sir. Oh, right, well, you didn't say that, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. I okay. just thought you were paying attention. No, but... I won't pay attention okay. to you. Okay. So I should get his Domino. No, man? no, it's gonna work like that. Okay. But it's fine. I got fine. Now go ahead. What was you saying, though? Um, it's a, it's a thrill going through people's neighborhood and women, uh, females know you. Right. Um, um, when you got guys that give you respect. Solution, you know. Right. So I, I used to love to do that. Like I couldn't stand a project all day to sell drugs. Right. That that just didn't work for me. In the project, so I needed to be out, hit the block, meet different women, meet different people. Um, what would it take now to get you to that level? Like, or is that just not in you anymore? It's there. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna lie and say that that's over with. But mm -hmm. you would have to call my mother. Right. Or my children, right? Baby or slim? Okay, I, I'm there. You're there. Yeah. No questions there. Yeah. No. Yeah. Real talk. Yeah. Um, Birdman or slim? Oh. Yeah. Both of my children. Them niggas off limits. Big facts. Big facts. 
I'm out of there. Um, but you know, for the most part, bro, I try to think for me and the next person. I try to think for me and the next person. Uh -huh. um, and I just, and I just be hoping that they stay out of out of the way. You know, and as long as they stay out of the way, um, fifteen, enjoying themselves, I'll be happy. Right. Are you afraid of anything? God. That's it. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> like that, I mean, like anything could be like you know, like a. A roller coaster. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, speaking of, yeah, I'm not, yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah, right. No, 10. Um, yeah, we're not know. doing no roller coasters. Like not at all. Yeah. Um, actually, I went to Six Flag um, with one of my Muslim brothers, him and his, um, him and his, his girlfriend, and they went on all these crazy, big, tall rides, and I just was, I'm going to wait right here for y'all, you know. Yeah, I, bro, believe it or not, I am the same way. I, man, fuck that. I'm not getting on no roller coasters. I got on one roller coaster. I don't know it's, and everybody's like, ah. I'm like, <laughs> I'm scared of shit. Um, when you're when you're deleting somebody, we'll say, right? Mm -hmm. What is what is going through your mind? Finish the job. Oh, man, you better get some money. How many bones you got? I got. I have one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, finishing the job. Right. Um, because I know that if I don't fit, what, where's the spinner? Oh, I can't ask that. I know that if I don't uh, finish oh, it, sure. you ain't sure <laughs> what, the, what the spinner is. The six? No, it's the six. Yeah, six. It's a six. So, uh, it's a six. If, uh, if I don't finish the job, the per the person is going to come back um, and finish the job. So I have to make sure that I get the job done. All right. Is there any like steps that you would take to after you you know you, you deleted ten. somebody? Like I'm gonna wipe my fingerprints off. I'm gonna hit them with a 38 so I keep the shells on. You know what? Is there anything that you any steps that you took back in the day? Um, we didn't think about, well, we already knew you know, to make sure we didn't put our fingerprints on the right. bullets. Um, if I had a 30, I would have to have two. That was my favorite thing, having two 30s. I know they wouldn't jam. You like, <laughs> <laughs> not really. Um, you know, when you work one, you want you need another one to get out of the jam, right? Right. But um, yeah, I used to love those 38s, man. Um, yeah, let me go with that. Put that down because you blocked me out the last time. Hmm. I can see you like <laughs> Yeah. That's like a wild wild west game. Oh, man. I gotta pull again. <laughs> yeah, um the 38s. I need two of them. I couldn't just use one 38. I need two. Yeah. Yes, sir. Parking 15 down. Did you ever, <laughs> did you uh, ever um, like had to hide hide somebody like a, like a body or something? After you like, or you, cause you, you know, you told us like before in the, in the street star interview that you just let the corners pick them up or whatever. But that was the thing back then. You had to set example. Um, we used to show off like now, Man, I really look back on a lot of the stuff that I did. I was like, man, I was young and dumb and wow. Um, because now they, like, back in the days we shoot, right? Now I heard that the people now could check you for the gun policy. Yeah, 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 yeah. They weren't doing all that. Oh, yeah, it wasn't then, that. You know, yeah. so. Um, you, th you think you could be, you could do it in today's time and get away with it? If I really want to, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. Uh, because here's the thing, when I was in prison, I used to pay attention to the uh, uh, first 48. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I would look at how a lot of people would get caught up because their phone pinged some showing that it was in that area. Yeah. So it's like, okay, I know if I go do a murder, I'm not bringing my cell phone. Right. Because they're going to know I was in that area. Um, yeah, yeah, if I really, really... Is, is it my turn? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you want this one, too? No, I don't need that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This one's getting my 
boss. Right? <laughs> 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 uh, okay. Well, now what else? Uh, what, you, what you about to do? You about to know? No. Were you were you ever infatuated like with any like big killers that were out there? Maybe maybe like TV serial killers, anything like that. Was that a infatuation for you? No. Um, I was infatuated with guys in the hood, people who I heard about, looked up to. You think? Okay, I see. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna be nasty oh. with you since you wanna do that. Pull that bone right there. Get like, that one right there. You think that? Or not? It's not gonna go like that today. Oh. What's that? What's that? Oh, it makes me Bruce, sad. Bruce said, what's that? It makes um, me kind of yeah, sad. I was always infatuated with the guys in the hood because, you know, well, first of all, we didn't watch too much TV in my time, me coming up. You know, so I always only knew the guys in the hood, the gangsters in the hood. Mm. You know, so if I heard about a person who was a killer or I saw the drug dealers coming by on the nice cars and clean, I, I wanted that. Right. Right. What what's your definition definition of a gangster? A gangster is someone who not handle their business in the streets, who leave it in the streets. Someone who's not gonna put the police in their business. Right. You're not giving no statements. You're just standing on business. You you really stepping in the streets. You getting money. You're not handling your business. Because I always tell people, anybody could kill. Right. But they don't make you a gangster or something right. because you take one life. You know? So you got to be a person that know how to handle business, think for you and the crew. But you got some gangsters that don't do no thing and they just shoot, get money, um, and know how to handle their business, but they're not good at being a leader. Right. You know, so you have those situations too. Do you have any tattoos? Yes. Plenty of them. Well, not plenty, but... What, what do they say? I have the hot pepper, hot boy with the hot pepper. Oh, okay. It was the first, oh, this was the did first it, Did tattoo. everybody, the hot boys had it? Yeah. So that was like, if this you had that, one. that's... Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know, it, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then what I would do, like every female I would meet, mm -hmm. I would get them to get the hot pepper on their, on their leg, on their thigh with gangster. On there, so I was yeah. So any you OG niggas and female got the hot pepper. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, okay. It was once one of you know one yeah, of my. Was, you was a hot girl. Yeah, you was once with my crew. Um, let me tell you what's crazy is that man. I had a girl, a female, um, that I uh, I had gave her some money to go get the tattoo. Right. So I had another female with me to go get the tattoo. Mm -hmm. The female I had with me, she had left her um her ID at home. So I said, well, where you got those tattoos from? She said, oh, Rampart. So we go to Rampart, mm -hmm. to the tattoo shop where they already knew who she was. Right. So this guy stopped me, though, being him talking. She go in. So another guy come in and said, man, you, you been busted. I said, what you talking about? He said, man, um, old girl in there. There's another girl already in there about to get a tattoo. I was like, what? Ten. I finished the story. 15. <laughs> oh, shit. I was just trying to decide that I wanted to do that again. Oh, okay. Um, so, the girl who I had gave the money to, the girl who I had gave the money to um, came out smiling. Now I was like, well, you going to give my money back? So, um, she didn't want to give my money back. And her friend got all in my business cussing and, girl, you stupid. If I was you, I wouldn't. Go ahead. <laughs> Fifteen. Are you crazy too? If I was you, uh, I wouldn't. Plus another twelve. With another fifteen. Another twenty-five. Um. So her friend was like, that had really ticked me off because her friend was like, "Girl, if I was you, I wouldn't get no, I wouldn't give him no money back. He got another B word in there about to get the same tattoo he wanted you to get." Da, da, da. <laughs> so I'm like, "Yo, you all in my business?" So I get to cuss. That's why I had to cuss real bad. So I tell the girl, stay out of my business, right? So I got my brother. Yo, brother, oh, I'm on my way. So I, I rode in the same Bernard, you know, literally up and down the block because I was cool with some real steppers in that project. So I was okay to go back there, you know, and go handle my business. But I didn't, her brother wasn't out. She wasn't out. But I was real ticked off that day. Man. She hadn't got my business. I paid her friend to get my tattoo. 
Right. But then I got this tattoo, uh, shot caller. Okay. I got this, um, I got that name when I was in jail. I was young and I used to always want to call the shots. I always, always want to say, oh no, y'all do the y'all. I used to always want to. So I got that. Um, I got the one in my chest with gangsters, It's like an old English letters tatted on me. Um, I had a crackhead to do. I got one on my leg, a hot sauce <laughs> bottle, <laughs> pouring out uh, original hot boy. Well, you a real hot boy. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't yeah. real. That ain't got it real. Yeah. That's, that is wild, bro. Yeah, man. You know what's crazy? Like I say, hey, you know, when you young, you just do stuff. You brand, right? Right. I didn't think that this would really blow up like, like it did. You know, I didn't really think it would take off or, or do what it really do, what, what it's doing, you know. Um, it hit me um, when I was in prison, this, this, this little young guy, like 25 years old, he was in front of me, we was getting ready to go to eat. Uh -huh. And on the back of his neck, he had hot boy. And I was like, he's 25 years old, I've been locked up 20 some years, he was a baby. I was like, wow, look at the effect of something that I come up with have. But yeah, man, I just always, you know, I would get, oh, I had another tattoo from, oh, I got one on my, my back. They have a knife with life plus 20 from a friend. Oh. Yeah, a dude I was cool with. That's how I got the time, because I mean, it was cool. Right. And he went water wire on my co defendant. So I was like, I look as a friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that Allah got you out of prison? Of course. Allah is God. It's just an every word Allah. But we believe that God, yes. That's why I make sure I pray five times a day. I make sure I fulfill my obligation in Islam because I really believe in my heart. That's who freed me. Have you ever been in solitary confinement? Oh, yes. Um, I did 11 months, I think twice, in solitary confinement. Um, but yes, I've been in solitary confinement. Um, and how'd you deal with that? Reading books, writing. Um, I was blessed, you know, to have outside support. So I would order magazines, uh, novels. Like I would have my hood novels and magazine, and I would have my religious books and right. stuff. So once I was able to get my own credit card, mm -hmm. I would just write to the store, hey, I want to order this, I want to order that. Yeah. You know, I want to order this and order that, so I was able to. Oh, that's game. He won. I won. Oh. Why I feel like you pencil whoop me? You know what that means? No, let me see. Pencil whoop me because <laughs> I was calling numbers and you didn't write down my that I supposed to have more than that. No, but no, like I talked to numbers. Yeah, you just studied. I think you cheated. No. <laughs> I started new one. I started new one, bro. <laughs> New game. We, we, can, we can start a new one, bro. Yeah, let's start a new one. Both of y'all didn't call certain numbers. And... Well, why you didn't give it to me? Because he's supposed to get penalized if he don't call it. Just don't, you don't have to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> he's just being a sore loser. <laughs> yeah, help me. I'll write it. If yeah. y'all don't call it, then it's better. Okay. This episode is also brought to you by Culture Raw. See? <laughs> this happened in a good conversation. <laughs> so next time y'all write it, both of y'all hold it. Alright. Okay. Yes, ma'am. That's right. That's fair. So after whooping um Terrence Gax Williams. Okay. What is it that you do? Oh, well, I do have a auto mobile detox machine. Okay. Um, it's called Mobile Detailing Company. I come to you. I come to you right. and detail your vehicles. So just the same way I'm watching it. Wash your vehicles. Right. And that's so why she's the washer. You come or you send someone? If I need to come, I come. No, 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 no. I understand that, <laughs> but the way you say it, like, I thought, like, you know, like you just started, and I'm thinking, like, you do it hands on versus, like, you have a crew. Yes, yes. It's a team of us. It's a cultural washing detailing crew, mm -hmm. and we are outside all the time throughout DFW. Okay. So we, we are here. So right now, while. You guys are having a good time playing dominoes. Mm -hmm. We can be outside detailing your vehicles. Big six, let's go. Uh, I don't care. Five. So big, big five. Ten, and we in. Mm. Ten, and in. Now we playing, okay?
Okay. Now we playing. Now we playing. So back to that solitary confinement, right? Yes, sir. Like, did that do something to your mind? No. Um, it seems like you got a very strong mind. Thanks. All right. Cause see, when I go to the shoe, what we call we call it the shoe, right? Kind mm -hmm. of the segregation shoe, right? right? The whole. Um, when I go there. I make the best of it, so I'm not about to let this get me down, right? Like how, like I looked in the dictionary, right? Mm -hmm. I had a celly, a white guy, he used to read the, actually literally read the dictionary. Mm -hmm. um, so when I go to solitary confinement, give me 10. I make the best of it. So I learned that, wow. I learned everything, prime example, um, let's say bell pepper. Mm -hmm. Cucumber. People eat them as vegetables. They are really fruits. Right. So we already, well, a lot of us know that the tomato is a fruit. Um, like the jalapeno pepper, that's a fruit. Right. So I learned this from reading my dictionary board and then giving people, yeah. um, then giving people a test. And um, I learned everything with a seed in it is a fruit. Right. You know, so when I go to the shoe, I, I make sure... I do I do something that's gonna keep me going, keep my time going, keep you know focus. Domino five and ten over here. So I, I make sure I do something that's gonna um if I'm trying to learn how to start a business, right. I'm trying to learn how to uh incorporate, you know, I do all that stuff so I'm I i do not have no dull moments. You know? Or then I do a lot of I go in my mind and fantasize. I think about the females I had, the females I wanted, and the females I planned to get. So I'm, even when you was doing that that long stretch, mm -hmm. you were still thinking like, when I get out. Yeah, because you know, here's the thing: when you young, we have what you call backlog. Like it was females that I was crazy about, or females that used to like me, or I liked, and we just didn't cross that line yet. I was like, you know what? When I get out, I might go holler, her, 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 and her. Right. right. But when I got out, I was like, I didn't have that same energy. Right. Um, so to speak, because like certain females that, how would I put this without making them mad? Um, <laughs> certain females that was that girl back then wasn't that the girl. girl yeah. you know, I was like, oh, damn, okay. homie, in high school you was. Like, yeah, damn, sort of like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, one, two, three. So I was like, ah, oh, nah, you know, change the plan. Right. But, um, <laughs> but it's no, oh, I got to pull. But it was still cool. <laughs> yes. Now you know what the weakness is. Huh? What the world? <laughs> so now you know uh, what my weakness is, huh? The freeze. But yeah, so I would, like I say, when I would be in a shoe, man, I just would write and think about um, different things, different people. Bye. Or, uh, you know, what I'm going to get 10. What I'm going to get myself into. I dream of 15. Mm, he's dreaming. <laughs> dream there. Terrence is free. Give me five. Come on, I tried to rhyme right there. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't go like I thought. Don't worry. Get good. Well, yeah, man. So I like, bro, I, like, and then in the shoe, like, we would get the string out the mattress and stuff, and we would slide it down to get magazine, get stuff. So it's always something to do while, while you locked up. It's always something. What's the spinner? The three. You started. Oh, yeah, that. I did start that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I can't ask. Penalize, huh? <laughs> Take some points off. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. That's right. I agree with that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Step in. Step in. So I'm trying to trick now. him out of his position. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, bro. Uh, the shoe is like I said. It's the shoe is really only what you make it. You know, you feel like oh, I, I don't know. I would go crazy shit in there. I already, I don't know. I think too hard. I think too much. Well, that's sometimes that's good because like I would do this on like on Sundays, right? At, like certain shoes I'll be in, Sundays be the days that we don't have rec. So if you in there, you like the Sunday, Saturday and Sunday used to be the boring days because staff don't come around. Right. So if staff not coming around, now we like, um, 
Oh, you got one now? Uh-huh. All right, I'm going to let you. Here you go. You got that? So if staff don't come around, so now we bored. Now, because like, it's certain case managers, certain unit managers, certain women that come through, that's going to come through. We like, we on that, like we got the window by like this tall, this. So we on that door trying to see when our favorite uh, staff member is going to come through. So when you on, on, on weekends, everything closed, everything shut down. So now it's boring now, you know? So what I would do, I would sit down and just think like, man, when I get out of prison, man, when I do this, 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 and this, do you, do you ever get depressed? Nope. See? Five. Yeah, I, I told you you on his five. side. <laughs> Why you ain't five? Help me out. <laughs> That's right. I might get that. You might get that detail. I might go ahead and support that business. That's <laughs> right. Way to go. Um, no, bro. Um, me, no, never. Well, give me you, ten. You ain't never. So you never got depressed? Ten, no. Oh, now nah, only time I cried. Five. Five. No, out the door. Five and diamond. No. What you got over there for me, bro? What? Oh, Game. I, I, ain't I, mean, got, I, I ain't got nothing over there. Bro. <laughs> I ain't nothing. You got nothing. <laughs> Um, yeah, the only time I was down, bro, was uh, for Hurricane Katrina. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's when I was down, but other than that, like, this might sound crazy. My, my, I've always envisioned that I would go to jail and get a life sentence, but I always thought it was going to be Angola. See, I never thought it would be the Fed. So right. when I got the life sentence, I was like, okay, I got life. But what, what really helped me was the outside support my mother cash the money being there for me you know right. and even my children mother they made sure that I seen my children right. so even if they would have to bring them by my mother house or if one of the baby mothers was coming okay you gonna get bring him bring her y'all so everybody we all got along so that was, that was you know it was pretty cool so I didn't man I don't want to go back to prison let's get that straight make sure I make that clear but um I didn't have a, a bad time at all. You never had like a worst day? Like what was the worst day? Like you like, damn, this this is just the worst day in prison that I ever, you know what I'm saying? Like fuck this shit, this is the worst day. No, this that Katrina day, that's not that. Um, I always made sure that I was doing something, uh, staying positive. I'm alive, give me five. Okay. Staying positive, stay, stay out of the way. <laughs> Just one. Yeah, I always try to make sure that I stayed out the way, bro. And, you know, I always, um, like I had books. I kept plenty of books, plenty of magazines. Um, so I always, you know, stayed busy. Then we had the MP3 player when you put them in. Oh, man. What was, you, what was you jamming? Everything. I'm more like, I'm, I'm mainly like slow jams. Like, like who? Um... Key Sweat, that's my favorite. I vote uh, with Darnell Jones. No, you don't like, you don't like Darnell Jones? Yeah, all right, but you're going to give me uh, uh, 24-7, keep on at me. Okay. Uh, Kim, Promise the Love. Um, 15. 15. Okay, he got the 15. Let me get 20. Oh, I don't know why he did that. No, I'm going to show you why. Go and get your... What am I going to get? You're going to put that <laughs> double five down. Uh, we're going to call that... 25. How did I say? How did I know he was going to do it again? I see. Hmm. 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 I just shut that down. What? You keep doing this to yourself. 15. Mm-hmm. It's always a method to my madness. <laughs> and I'm about to domino. Oh, man. That's right, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to be diamond over. Uh, you, I'll take 15. Okay, 15. <laughs> so what do I get? Nothing. Get nothing. Huh? Diamond over. That's what I get. But you get five, though. Okay. Yeah, so... Um, being in prison, you have to realize where you at, watch the company you keep, because there are a lot of... Um, a lot of uh, uh -oh. miserable people in prison. Right. So, um, say for instance, that we all hanging out together, and 
we all doing bad, everybody happy. But if one of my family members send me some money, mm-hmm. now this one gonna be jealous, or the homeboys might be trying to get me robbed, you know, or they wanna, hey, but let me borrow a rice, let me borrow a mackerel, let me borrow a summer sauce. So now what happens is they wanna borrow it, eat up all my stuff, and, and, and not pay me back. Right. You know, so they love you miserable. Uh, uh, another thing was. So like, if they do some shit like that, what what is the retaliation of that? You like, you can't. I know you can't just let things go like that, right? Well, you got some guys that be like, man, you know what? You done bought yourself. Like, man, you know what? So just don't ask me nothing else. You don't ask me for nothing else no more. Right. You got some people that are, you know, take that route. Um, me, I was, I was one of the ones like, if a person came and borrowed something from me. Um, well, in the bed, eh? So the person came and borrowed something from me. I, I was giving them something that I that I Shit. felt like I'm not gonna miss this, but I know you're not gonna come back. Right. You know what I'm saying because now it's like you've bought yourself. You know. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> that's just. That's just. I don't know why I thought you was gonna. I filled up the whole thing or the whole rack thing right here. Yeah, that's good and bad. <laughs> bad right now. I like that you have all that. So you Maybe I can hit you for some points and just get out of here. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a good thing. That's always a good thing, brother. That's crazy. Put oh, that no, big no. five on now. No, I ain't gonna do that. Ten. I'm about to get out of here, ain't I? I'm back in. I'm about to get out of here. You ain't got no oh, I'm done? Huh? The game over? <laughs> All right, yo, you win. You were five. You were five. Oh, wow. Ten to get in, five. Well, you no, know, but listen, see in prison, see in prison. Well, that's two five out of three. Five don't count. Uh, Terrence. <laughs> two out of three, we got one more. See, no, no, five. no, 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 no. And I, that's, that's two games. Right. But I got a couple questions to ask you. Talk to me. Yeah, we'll just talk to you. But that was a great game. Okay, no more, we, no more of this. No, no more of that. All right. We're just going to finish the questions. Um, if you could trade places with your son, would you? No, no, sir. I love him. <laughs> no, indeed. No. Son, I, I love you. <laughs> no, no, I ain't do that. <laughs> That's his crime. Right. How would they say do the crimes with the time? Right. No, I don't want to trade places. I would no. You would not do that. <laughs> no, sir, Bob. Um, out of all the hot boys, which one of them would have snaked you? I'm gonna go with mosquito. Why, why do you say that? We hung together every day, and I knew his ways. Um, Did you ever feel like you would have to take him out? No, I never. I never thought like that. I didn't get all those kind of little scenarios in my head till I hit the feds and I seen how guys were killing their friends and guys were take you know doing a lot of because I come up around a lot of OGs like Lesser Duplessis, Blackie Mo, Levi, Tony B, or uh, Eric Marie's. Uh, Gaylaw, he's still alive now. A lot of people who showed me the game, showed me the way, whereas I didn't have to think about cutthroat or snaking my, my people because if I'm around you, I know you're good people. I know I can trust you. Mm-hmm. But just now in this day and time and knowing the conniving, sneaky stuff, robberies we did, cutthroat stuff, like uh, like his sister might have a boyfriend he really didn't like. So he's gonna put me on a lick, he's gonna be around, he's gonna have this such such call. He don't call you don't kill him though, you know. So uh, I would say him. I would say him if I had to pick out of them three. And last question, out of the hot boys, which one passed that affect you mo- the most? Oh. Sterling. Sterling. And why? Because we was together. We was literally together when he was mm-hmm. murdered. And just to see him. Hit all in the back of his head. I'm like, and then the girl was holding him as he was on, the, as they was in the driveway, and she was holding him, and he was gasping for air. I'm like, wow, you know, this is something that we have done to people, and now I'm witnessing it with my own eyes, my best friend. Right. That and one. and this, is, I think this, I'm gonna go out with this last question. Um, there's a military sniper by the name of Nicholas Irvin. He said. In the movies, people die with their eyes closed, but he's never seen that. Have you ever seen somebody die with their eyes closed? All the time, yeah. All the time. Because when you, 
When we, we killed, you had to make sure the person was dead. See, we didn't hit a free, hit, hit a person and run. We gonna hit you up and, and hit you in the spots where we know the, 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 shit, the kill shots. So he's saying the people that he killed was always terrified. Was like, did you see that too? Never saw that. I've never seen it. So I most people go. So most people go like this. So he, he said that he killed. Well, they said he has 33 or 32 confirmed kills, mm -hmm. right? And then he has way more kills with a machine gun as a machine gunner. He said he's never saw it like that. It's always with their eyes open. But you saying that he, you only seen him with the eyes closed. But now here's the thing. If he killing with a machine gun, so now you can't help. When you hit a person, he just might be so much in a state of shock. Boom. So all the bullets, he, his eyes broke wide open. Yeah. And how far is he? Yeah, he's saying, gun? and then it's either a machine gun or a sniper. That's what I'm saying. So how he can see, you, you mean tell me you hit the person, boom, and you watch it through the thing once he fall and okay. No, yeah. no. So he's saying, I hit the person, mm -hmm. then we have to go up to the person and be like, well, that's a confirmed kill. And so when he goes up on a person, he says, the eyes are always open and uh, scared. Like I've stay. never seen a sniper shoot, kill, and then go look for well, well, that's what they're saying. That's the protocol in the military. Oh, in the military. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So... Yeah, I don't. I don't but know. I every mean, every person that you seen that was deleted. Yeah, they, they were all closed. Yeah. And what do you think uh, makes them close their eyes? Because like that if, pain, right? Something like man, like you just yeah, you know. Because um, I remember me getting hit up, and that's the first thing I just closed my eyes. The last thing I remember, one of my brothers telling the the nurse, make sure y'all make sure you, make sure he don't die. Yeah, because my heart had stopped. I, my heart stopped beating. I had got hit, the bullet come out of the middle of my chest. Right. So, but it's always the eyes closed. I've never seen nobody with their eyes open. I've never seen it. Not saying right. that can't happen because we know it can happen. Yeah. But I've never witnessed it. Wow. Man. And, you know, majority of the time, too, when we kill, it's always either going to be face shots, head shots, you know, chest. So you ain't going to see that, you know. Then, you know, I just hit him up. He's, he, he might not have no more eyes. Right. <laughs> Have you ever done that where he just, just shot his face off almost? Yeah, play time. Yeah. Face shot, man. Because we had this thing where when we do you, we want that little kindergarten picture on your coffin with the two teeth missing in the front. So we want your coffin closed. Because ain't nothing like it's so disrespectful to have a funeral and you can't view that body. Yeah. That was the ultimate disrespect. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure. I had fun playing dominoes with you, brother. Man, thank you for having me. Yep. The um, the, yeah. the, the the whole suit was very good. Um, I think she cheated me on some points. <laughs> I just you know. Well, before you go, last thing I would like to give you a couple items. Okay. I like right? gifts. You know what I'm saying? These are just gifts for you know you being home, mm -hmm. right? And then just being a real good friend to me, bro. So these are it right there. So first, okay. that that right there is a, a gift card to Popeyes. Man, yo. But now, I'm gonna take this gift card, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I made a, I was watching Little Wayne video. Okay. Interview Little Wayne did. Um, come on, you want? Cause I want to hold her. No, no, no. Oh. She's, she's, she's good. Um, I was watching an interview Little Wayne did on YG thing, and he said he went 15 years without fast food. Right. So I was like, whoa, that's pretty cool. So, um, I said for Ramadan that I wasn't gonna eat no fast food, no sweets, no soda. How long does it last? 30 days. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Just hold on to it. I thought it was going to be expired. No, 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 no. I've never <laughs> seen one of these, yo. Yeah, well, much as I love Popeyes, yeah. I've thank you very much. I've never seen this. Yeah. So you just go in there and you, sli you slide it, and they're going to be like, what you want? <laughs> yeah, it tells you how much is on there, too. Yo, this is. Man, thank you very much. I've never seen this. I'm going to be on my podcast. Let me put this on. Then, in my wallet. Then we also have yeah. Angel's Cookies. Oh, that's the favorite. That's my favorite. <laughs> like some corn candy. <laughs> oh, yo, y'all. Jazz for me. Hey, yo. Nah, man, she makes some. Oh, she got the pecan. And one day won't hurt, right? Because that's how I wasn't going to eat no sweets for Ramadan. But the one day, yeah. I'm always <laughs> fasting. Right. So I'm not eating them. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, oh, yeah, trust yeah. me, I'm gonna eat these tonight, go over <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna break my fast with these. Right. That's what that's, I'm gonna break That'd be good. That'd be good. And then, because it's got the pecan in there. <laughs> yes, yes, I love pecan. And then there's your shirt for. Red Light Production. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. That's the uh, domino effect. So now, my question to you is Am I gonna get 
a second chance because yeah, I, I would de- I would definitely sit down with you and get a second chance because I whipped you so bad. But, that's what I'm saying. I but in the like- streets. I wouldn't be able to give you a second chance. <laughs> Yo, okay, that's <laughs> but, fair. But but now you're you're a civilian. You can get a second chance. That's fair. Cause see, that's what I feel. Now you know, I explained to you for Ramadan that I couldn't eat, drink, or nothing. Right. Right. So with that being said, um, you got the host here. So this is a very very beautiful setup. So I got to stay focused. Right. So that was kind of a distraction. Yeah. Because I got to stay focused on these dominoes. You got this lady shuffling all this stuff in yeah. my face. So I think you cheated. It was it was several tactics. Like you yes. Know. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. So I, but I was, I was able to stay focused. So right. I'm happy. Yeah. That's, that's all right. good. Yeah. That's right. And you and I, I'm sure you'll be back. I'm sure the fans are going to want to see this again. What? Yeah. Yes. As long as you invite me, you know I'm pulling up. For sure. For sure. I love this environment. Y'all very respectful, cool. I've never seen um, a show or uh, Podcast, YouTube channel, um, um, black owned business as respectful as you all are. Man, I that's why I that. love to come in this company um, because you know I'm not from Texas. Right. Um, I don't have too many people I do kick it with. So every time y'all call, y'all know I'm putting it up. <laughs> right, right, right. I know it's a safe and cool environment. Man, I'm not coming here. Man, I appreciate you, Terrence, yeah. man. I'm glad that you're home. Yeah, well, I'm happy to be home. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. OG Giggity. That's right. Oh, one more thing. What's that? I am now. And internet hot boy. Um, Monica done raised my stakes up, so all you females don't come in my DM <laughs> unless y'all Fortune 500. That's just how I'm rocking now. Because she said, she said she knew you. No, no. She said, I don't know him, but I heard No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard him. his name. That was, yeah. even, that was even better. Yeah. She said, I heard a lot of good things about yeah, yeah. She saw the, you, hear, you heard the softness in her voice right. that she would date me. Right. That's what I, that's what I got out and of And she her. looks gorgeous. Yeah, very beautiful. How old is, is she now? I don't know. Honestly, um, I just been a fan of her music, but, <laughs> but no, honestly, I just like to play. Um, she's dating someone, so yeah, um, I'm not into that kind of stuff, playing with you know women like that. But I found out later that oh, she got somebody she dates. She's dating a guy who uh, who um, who's managed Chris Brown, right? So I didn't know, but I was trolling, having fun, and for her to answer me, I was like, oh, all right, it's cool. Yeah. What's up now? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I wouldn't. I'm not um, trying to really date her for real though. You know, disrespect her. You know, I just wanted the reaction that I got, and I got it. Right. That's all. Yeah, I should probably say your name again. Well, it's gonna be hard to resist the name because <laughs> <laughs> I actually help her as well. Because there's a lot of my people that follow me, follow her now, or comment on her stuff. You know, and support no, her. and maybe you can DM her and get in her inbox and tell her to come on Real Life Three Stars. <laughs> Yo, that is, yeah. that's easy to do. That's not yeah. a problem. Yeah, that's since you got her her ear. Let yeah. her know we would love to sit her down on the couch. Yeah. Then okay. she can meet you in person often. Oh, yeah, because I will pull up. <laughs> I will pull up on you. That's right. Um, Yeah, we're we going to work on that. Yeah, sure. we really are. We're really going to work we're on doing that. Le- that's yeah. a legit hit that we just put out right yeah, there. Fact. Big right. fact, y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, Real Life Street Stars. We out. Presenting the domino effect. Big fact.